Mr. Srinivasan, thank you very much for joining me. Yes, tell me. Uh, Mr. Srinivasan, first question is this, that uh, not many people are convinced that uh, acting against a few players will be the end of this controversy. How can it be the end of this controversy if, if 12 or 15 matches of this IPL season are fixed or spot fixed in this manner? In other words, 12, or 15, 12 to 15 matches have no validity. If that many matches have no validity, what is this tournament all about? Isn't the tournament itself a disaster? Actually, Arnab, I think that's a, a generalization because the police have arrested these three people. We have immediately taken action. And as you say, if it is spot fixing, we have to understand what exactly happened in each match. I don't think one can generalize, as you said, but at the same time, I want to say that the BCCI is completely, up, you know, very upset and very sad. No, the fact is, Mr. Srinivasan, it's not Rajasthan Royals versus Mumbai Indians. It's not Rajasthan Royals versus Kings Eleven. It's not Rajasthan Royals versus Chennai Super Kings. It's potentially Rajasthan Royals versus a lot of teams. You may call it spot fixing, but when 13, 14 runs are being given away because of spot fixing, it essentially means that the result of that match is not a correct result. If 12 matches... At least 12 matches of the IPL don't deliver correct results, accurate results. That means that this year's IPL season is a disaster. That means you have 12 matches fixed in some way or the other. You can call it spot fixing or whatever, but it's been fixed. See, I do not have the details that you have, Arnab. All, all, I, all that we have at the moment is the fact that these players have been arrested and that a charge sheet has been filed, an FIR has been filed. We have not been able to look at that FIR yet. Well, but internationally, you, where you know, when there have been scandals such as this, Mr. Srinivasan, the criticism that the BCCI faces is this, that the BCCI is trying to limit it by acting against the players. Internationally, there have been other instances where similar scams elsewhere in the world have broken out and the whole tournament's been called off. And in fact, for a year, the tournament's not happened till they get their act together. Shouldn't you be considering doing the same with the IPL? Let me first, let us first get all the evidence. No? Let, us get, let us get all the details. But I, I am not prepared to, with one bra you know, stroke, say that the tournament is bad. No, these three people have been arrested. I mean, you have your view, I understand, on your channel. You have been saying, why watch the IPL and things like that. But that's your privilege. But as far as we are concerned, let, let us get to the bottom of it. But the BCCI will not hesitate to act. We are not going to cover up for anybody. And, I, and we, see, we are proud of the tournament we have. So we, we are no, not going to let you this, have, you know... No, no, you have... The question will be to the BCCI, Mr. Srinivasan, that allegations of spot fixing and IPL have been doing the rounds for some time. And I'm sorry to say this, Mr. Srinivasan, but the response of the BCCI and the response of the IPL Management Committee has been one of extreme scorn, derision, sarcasm and disbelief. It has been made out to be, no, no, it has been made out to be that these are malpractices which cannot happen. And if the media were to talk about it, then the media is picking up the wrong end of the stick. Nobody has spoken to me on this. But I, I can assure you that we were stunned when we got this news. At the same time, we have taken all the steps that are necessary. We have engaged the anti-corruption uh, unit of the ICC to monitor the, the entire IPL uh, tournament. Yes. Not only that, that, that you know, the, the ACSU have held meetings with all the franchises. But it's amounted to nothing. And educated them also. But it's uh, amounted it's to very little. The BCCI, I'm aware of it, had set up its own anti-corruption unit yeah, in May 2012, Mr. Srinivasan, to track domestic we cricket have. in India as well as the IPL. I'm aware of that. But despite the fact yeah. that this uh, incident uh, has taken place a year later, what it establishes, Mr. Srinivasan, is that the system that you have put in place is not a functioning system. The system that you claim is foolproof is not a system which is working. It's not effective. Can I, can I, can I speak when you're finished? Yes. B because, you see, we have handed over the charge for this IPL tournament to the, AC, to the ICC's ACSU. Yes. We have an ACSU of our own also. And the, the fact is that the police have caught somebody. Now, three people. I am not prepared to generalize what you are saying, and neither am I prepared to say everything is useless. No, I... I, 
I am not generalizing. I am simply asking the question, Mr. Srinivasan. Mr. Mr. Srinivasan, you understand where I am coming from, Mr. Srinivasan. You are the biggest boss of the cricketing world in India, and I am a journalist, and I am going to ask the questions that are in the minds of a billion people today. Because, Mr. Srinivasan, you appreciate and empathize that a billion people in India today are feeling cheated. And they are asking one question, Mr. Srinivasan, which I want to ask you. How is it that only the police that bust such IPL betting rackets and the BCCI simply condemns, claims zero tolerance to such practices, talks about how shocked it is, and then moves on? Why did we wait for the Delhi police to act? Should the BCCI not be leading the charge in ensuring the game that we love is not compromised? Yeah, yeah, you, you see, first and foremost, we are a sporting body. We have put an anti-corruption unit in place, that is right. We have asked the ICC's anti-corruption unit to uh, uh, monitor this tournament. But I am not a government. I cannot eavesdrop. I cannot tap phones. I, I cannot... All that is the job of the law enforcement agencies. And they have <clears throat> been following these bookies. I don't have a list of them. And, in fact, they have, because of their uh, vigilance, it has come... Uh, whatever has uh, come out has come out. But I, I don't have the resource to do that. All I can do is, I can be strict. I can tell our players, we can educate our players, we can monitor them, which we have done. It, to, to accuse us for not can leading can a I charge means I'm not a government. No, I understand. I'm You're sorry. not the government of India. You're not the police. You can't tap phones. I concede. What if someone were to ask you, Mr. Srinivasan, the anti-corruption unit of the BCCI reports to the BCCI. The BCCI controls the IPL. Hence... Some will argue that this anti-corruption unit is a part of the system and it will not do anything to rock the system because otherwise this talk about fixing has been, spot fixing particularly has been going on for a long time. We will, we will, you see, you can be sure that as a, arising out of this, we will look at all our processes. We also want, we ask the, ask the same questions. We also want answers as to why the police, I mean, this is not something that we are going to keep quiet take it lying down and finish it with one press conference. But Mr. Srinivasan, but, after no. the India TV, India TV did a sting operation last year. I think I spoke to you after that. At that time, you said IPL is clean. We have the anti-corruption unit covering it. They are in charge of security. You spoke about Ravi Swami, who was heading the anti-corruption unit to take it up. And he, you said people can make any allegations, but I believe IPL is clean. This is, you see, I cannot say anything to you because three people have been caught. But I can assure you that we have put in place all the processes and I believe that if there are a few bad eggs, then, you know, somehow or other it will come out. And we have to see how we can strengthen the process further. Now, but spot fixing, particularly, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Srinivasan, spot fixing can be termed a relatively new malaise to have hit cricket in 2010 after news of the world exposed the sting on the Pakistani players. The allegation is that spot fixing... Spot fixing has not been given the kind of seriousness that match fixing got in the past by the BCCI. The last time when match fixing was exposed, the BCCI reacted, but spot fixing Arnab, is being ignored. Arnab, I can assure you, we are not going to ignore anything. We are as shocked as anybody else at this exposure, at what has happened. We will take whatever steps that is necessary in, to improve our processes. But, as I said, we are not a government. No, we, you are I not the government, but, but Mr. Srinivasan... Please understand that. But Mr. Srinivasan, you have an anti-corruption unit. You have an anti-corruption unit made out of people who understandably... I, I, no, our, Mr. Our, Srinivasan, our reaction will be swift no, and we, it will be very, very Thank strong. you. No, no, that thank you for saying say. that. But Mr. Srinivasan, the fact is that today, if, you, you know, for example, if in one over somebody is giving two runs, and in the subsequent over gives 14 runs. If one ball of, an, of a bowler is extremely tight, good line and length, and the other is completely a giveaway, is there not a system in place where somebody notes that? I mean, inconsistency is all right, but what is happening here is that the people are being fooled, Mr. Srinivasan. If you see the way the overs were being played by these two gentlemen... Arnab, you have the advantage of me on me now. Because this, is, this has happened and we do not have all the details. I agree with you that what has happened is bad. These bad eggs should be taught a lesson. No, no question about it. But at the same time, I'm not prepared to say that the whole IPL is bad. I think that is going a little but, too but far. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, no, no, I'm not, not saying whole time. IPL is bad, but certainly it this is, is going to hit the credibility of the IPL. So, Surely, no, Mr. Srinivasan, even you will accept it's going to hit the credibility of the IPL. 
ஆல் த Mr Srinivasan the charge against the BCCI is that it it spends all the money on the razzmatazz and the entertainment quotient and the glam quotient and the television quotient it does not spend any money or considerable money or resources or seriousness uh, as far as ensuring that this cheating does not happen that I'm for sorry, that you're only I, doing I, the basic minimum am i correct I'm or not, not in that we are there is no yardstick to measure what is basic minimum what is maximum we we have we have suffered a setback at what has happened therefore whatever you say i mean i i have to listen to it no no mr But all Sp- i can tell you is your charge is not right it is not that we are interested in the rasmatas no my charge is not right we we, oh, we we are interested in cricket we have a good cricket team most of the i mean the players are fair this I mean, the criticism is unfair to all the straight and proper no, no, mr srinivas mr srinivas just i want to spend some time on this My question is look at IPL history Mr Shri you've seen it through and through first Lalit Modi controversy then the sting operations last year franchises were terminated and now this the charge against it the BCCI you know, will be that you haven't done enough to safeguard your own product no what we are saying is what we have done still some malpractice has taken place we will take further steps for it and I, otherwise now we are re- repeating ourselves no I, no no i, I am not repeating point. the my last question is mr srinivas this is very no, important no, I, I, see know. mr srinivas and please understand today mr srinivas and every question that i am asking you are the questions you know as the biggest cricket boss of india every indian is asking from guwahati to no, gandhinagar there is one question the que- so please accept my questions the same question no, no i want to ask one question to you do cricket bosses respond in denial and my my last question to you is this when the hansi cronia scandal erupted in 2000 you'll remember mr srinivas and it was dismissed when news of the world sting exposed pakistani players buki mazhar majid's credibility was questioned when the india tv sting was reported aspersions were cast about the authenticity of the india tv tape why should we be in a constant state of denial as far as fixing is concerned so what am i denying i'm saying that what has happened is bad we will take whatever steps are necessary we will improve our processes if necessary i'm not saying what is, i'm not denying what is happening no no it is obvious why one last question it's also reported that very close relatives of cricket players are doing the fixing if for example very close relative of shrishant is part I'm of this shocked. fixing no i i allegedly I'm, I'm, allegedly isn't that also in, very serious no for your information i'm appalled that a, a test cricketer could be involved in such thing like this you know it offends every fiber in my body but at the same time you know we let us let's get to the bottom of it uh, it it i i don't think that the, you know that the people should start throwing darts you know throwing uh, spears at the cci we we have you know we, we are as shocked as anybody well mr shrinivasan we leave the verdict among the people the police is following this and times now will keep track thank you very much thank you